Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide on fault finding and troubleshooting for a three-phase AC generator alternator part. Six, the loss of residual magnetism. Let's get started. Safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Use PPE to protect yourself, including gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout tagout and PDW procedures. These tests should only be carried out by qualified and or experienced engineers who have received safety training on live equipment. All test instruments and their leads connectors probes must be checked to ensure that they are suitable for the voltage levels being tested and are in good working order. Never attempt to test a live generator without another competent person present to shut down the engine or switch gear as necessary. Ensure that the work area is safe. Other personnel in the area are advised of what you are doing. Warning notices and tapes are displayed to advise others of the hazards. Required equipment and tools. Digital multimeter for measuring voltage, resistance, and continuity. Clamp meter for measuring AC-DC current without disconnecting wires. Megger, insulation resistance tester, to check the insulation resistance of windings. 12-volt DC battery, to excite the exciter rotor. Blocking diode, to preventing reverse current flow. 2 20 v AC to 110V DC power supply. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive guide on fault diagnosis for loss of residual magnetism and how to restore residual magnetism. Let's get started. Possible Symptoms of Loss of Residual Magnetism Loss of residual magnetism is a problem for self-excited AVR control systems only and prevents voltage buildup on run-up. Residual magnetism is stored in the exciter stator laminated steel core. Loss or decay of residual magnetism may be caused by long storage or reversing polarity of the exciter stator. The self-excited AVR system relies upon residual magnetism to begin excitation. Voltages build up when the generator on initial start up. Permanent magnet generator. Powered AVRs do not rely upon residual magnetism for initial voltage build up as the PMG is a very powerful supply source even at very low engine speeds. Fault finding for the loss of residual magnetism. Stop the generator set and disconnect the battery. Follow lockout tagout, LODO procedure. Check that the battery polarity is correct to the exciter stator. Leads X plus and XX negative. Reverse the battery polarity if incorrect, then disconnect. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to support PowerTech Insights and keep learning with more tutorials. With the exciter stator leads X plus and XX negative open circuit, run the generator at nominal speed without load. Check the output voltage across the AVR power supply terminals. The AVR requires a minimum voltage of 3.5 VAC to begin excitation buildup. If the residual voltage is lower than 3.5 volts, the residual magnetism must be restored. Note, the residual magnetism may be as high as 10% of nominal volts. How to restore residual magnetism? There are three methods to restore the loss of residual magnetism. Let's discuss them in detail. Method one, flash. The exciter stator leads with a 12 or 24 V battery for one to two seconds. Run the generator and recheck the residual voltage, minimum 3.5 V to the AVR power supply. If this does not restore residual, try method two. Method two, run generator at NO load normal speed. Flash AVR terminals X plus and XX negative for one second until AVR fires and voltage builds up. Shut down set, then check if AVR builds up normally. If this does not restore residual, Try method three. Warning, never flash an AVR without a blocking diode in the battery lead. Method three, if the residual magnetism is totally lost, it can be fully recharged by flashing with 110 volts DC from a 240 VAC supply rectified to half wave 120 V DC. Residual should be fully restored with one to two seconds flashing. This completes the fault finding on the excitation windings and main rectifier diode assembly. 
The AVR should now be reconnected and the generator run at nominal speed. Any further problems must now be in the AVR with a permanent magnet generator if fitted. The next test check out the AVR supply circuits. In next video, we're going to check the AVR and control circuit. Please stay tuned. Warning. Always ensure that testing should be conducted by qualified personnel familiar with protection systems and that all safety procedures are strictly followed. Attempting these without proper training and safety precautions can result in serious injury or death. Do not try this at home or without the necessary expertise. PowerTech Insights is not responsible for any harm or damage caused by improper handling of electrical systems. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.